Hey, you guys want to do a YouTube video? It'll be scripted. Okay? So, you are like the studio audience. And I'm like really nice and I give a fuck about Tekken and I like you all right this is the role play we're gonna do all right ready when how and where did you get hands-on time with the game did you manage to check the customization out there was no customization you dumb ass stupid fucking bitch cut <laughs> fuck <Thank> you, you. <sighs> okay action I was lucky enough to be invited to go to the Namco... <laughs> Cut! Action. Uh, they invited me, dude. What the fuck, dude? They invited me. They invited me. They said, hey, we want you to come play the game. It's going to be on this day when all these other dudes are going to be there, like Jeff Keighley and other fucking people. You know, lots of other people were there. You know, lots of people. It was fun. There were lots of people. Tasty Steve, Rip, <laughs> Maximilian, <laughs> the whole gang, dude. You name it. The fucking all these people. were. Harada was there. Michael Murray was there. I was there. It was fun. They had barbecue afterwards. It was delicious. I spent... Like a good amount of time. I would call it all day playing the game. Though I didn't play the entire time. I watched a lot and I asked people what they thought. And, you know, I had fun talking with people. Yeah, barbecue was delicious. It was, they had good cornbread. I spent like a good amount of time. I would call it all day playing the game. Though I didn't play the entire time. I watched a lot and I asked people what they thought. And, you know, I had fun talking with people. What else did No Pants have to say? What characters were available? All of them that are known. They had every character that they've shown so far. And the newest one was, I guess, Xiaoyu. They had them all. The, all the ones that they've shown. And like they didn't show anything that hasn't been shown. As far as I know, I thought that it was really fun way more fun than it looks in the trailers it looks like fucking shit in the trailers dude i even told michael murray i said dude these trailers suck you know it's making the game not look as good as it is i told him that you know the, the trailers fucking suck dude they do and i like the announcer of the trailers too it's not the announcer it's that without seeing the ui and without seeing the way the characters move it doesn't make the game look that cool. In fact, it makes the game look more about dynamic camera than it is at all. The game looks cool and it feels fun. Biggest complaint I had was that back dashes were nerfed and I got it from Harada's mouth. Like he was watching me play. I, I, I don't know why I'm using this gesture. I was playing on my arcade stick. I didn't use headphones, so don't ask me about the fucking soundtrack or anything like that. I didn't use headphones because I didn't want to touch the headphones, you know? But I was playing. He was watching me. I was backdashing. I backdash a lot. In general, I'm, I do that a lot. Just as a player, I do it a lot. So I could immediately feel that with some characters, backdash was mega nerfed. So Kazuya and King, I can confirm. Law... His backdash is fine. So Ball not pass. every character has a nerfed backdash, but some characters, they're hella nerfed. I didn't hear what you said. Anyway, um, I asked him. I said, hey, Harada, did you guys nerf backdash? And he said, yeah, we did. And I said, for all the characters? And he said, some. And then I said, what about sidestep? Because sidestep felt pretty good to me. You know, I was able to sidestep. But he said not much, only a little bit for sidestep. But backdash, he didn't say only a little bit. He just said, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and when I asked Rip about it, he was like, I didn't notice that at all. What are you talking about? He was surprised, right? And I was like, wait a minute, you know, maybe it's not for every character. So it turns out that's the case. Laws backdash and some ba characters have a really nice smooth backdash. But like King and... Kazuya, I felt like their back their backdash was mega nerfed. 
But um, there's a lot of like, you don't have to wall carry them necessarily to move them to the wall. You see, if you know what I'm saying, the way heat engage works and you run, there's a lot of like, it feels like there's a lot of moves that like push you and, and like you move around in the stage a lot, even without actually moving is what I'm saying. Like, there's a lot of you hit them and then you run and you move a lot. The, the, the distance traveled while fighting seems to be more than before, even when there's no juggle happening. Because of the way heat works and you're dashing, you can engage heat like on a downed opponent, for example. Let's say an opponent's on the ground and they side roll. You could do your heat engager and then run and push their corpse like you know on the ground and i don't know what else there could be like there could be more idea like you could be able to run over them and do a ground cross up or something who knows uh was the forward forward to run weird no not at all not at all and instant running works the same it feels just like tekken it looks really great and it's very fun i played a lot of jack king a little bit of Kazuya, and I can't remember who else I played. It was a few weeks ago. Yeah, there are a lot of new moves. <clears throat> there's a lot of new moves and a lot of new mechanics, and there's a lot of stuff that you, when you watch these trailers, you think, like, this doesn't really look that new. But when you play it yourself, it's way more new. Look at this dumb fuck say Cut! This dumb asshole saying Brian, question mark, this guy is an asshole because I already said and your brain should fucking deduce that Brian has not been announced so since Eris said uh, all the announced characters will be were there right obviously I shouldn't type Brian question mark right because then I'll get fucking banned for being a dumb asshole you see what I mean anyway action um Brian wasn't there they only had the characters that have been announced so far. So, uh, you know, but good question. Good question, amigo. Anything guaranteed after low parry? Yeah, low parries are fucking tight. Let me tell you, they added this new, like, effect. When you do the low parry, it has this, like, boom, like, quick, slow thing. And it's nice. It makes low parries... It gives them the visual respect that they always deserve because low parries are a hype thing. You know, it's always sick. And they made it more sick looking. Like it, it kind of is cool, cooler looking. I don't know how to describe it. You'll see it when you see it. But it's got a new effect to it that's nice. Very nice. And I think you can't do a bound afterwards. So the damage on a low parry is reduced. From the look of it, see the thing about, I want to be very hesitant to talk about <laughs> things you. like damage and frame data and properties because the game is not going to come out anytime soon at all. So asking me about, cut, asking me about details like damage and fucking frame data and stupid shit like that is going to get you banned. Okay? Action. Yeah, the game is not really even close to being done. So there is no way that I could really comfortably say what's good, who's better, how's the balance. All of these types of questions, though they are very good questions, intelligent questions, I can't give you an honest answer about them due to those facts that I just mentioned. It's so early. The game is not close to being released. And these numbers are very, like, much in flux. Are chickens or reversals still a part of Tekken 8? Reversals are... I didn't try chickens, to be honest. What's your favorite thing about the game? It's fun. It feels like Tekken. It feels and looks a thousand times better than it did in trailers. To me... It looks like shit in the fucking trailers. I'm telling you the truth. Those trailers, they suck. They don't do the game any justice at all. The trailers are trash. Trailer trash. 
Okay? I'm telling you, they just suck. The game itself is fun. It looks so much more fluid. The trailers look janky. Cut. What do you mean, how is the cheap damage? What is cheap damage? Oh, do you mean chip damage? Action. Um, the chip damage, it didn't really seem to be... Like, you can't kill with it, I don't think. And there's a lot of it. Oh, oh, okay. So first of all, let me tell you, this was a while ago. Like, it was a few, a couple weeks ago. So I don't remember a lot of shit. You're going to have to piss me off enough to remind me. But chip damage is huge for some things. Like Jack, I played a lot of Jack. Jack has a lot of moves that you can charge. So like his back too, you could do it quick or you could do a full charge one. A full charge move from Jack does a fucking huge chunk of chip damage. He can do a lot of chip damage, and so can other characters. Uh, there's a lot of it. <clears throat> That's for sure. There's a lot of it. And it's recoverable. Uh, white health is recoverable. Yeah, the white health is recoverable. <laughs> I'm going to need to buy a new chocolate gun. Uh, my old chocolate gun is not going to be big enough. Do you have any other questions? Feel free to ask them. You've They've been so smart so far. Uh, is there a lot of dynamic slow motion stuff? See what I'm saying? Okay, look. This guy says, is there a lot of dynamic slow motion stuff from the trailers? Like, as Is it like that in the game, right? That's what I've been saying this whole time. But I understand that you came to that conclusion. <laughs> the trailers give you the impression that the cameraman is just fucking going insane all over every angle. But the game is not like that at all. In, in fact, I think the trailers look terrible. After you play the game, after you've sat in front of a fucking real monitor and played the game in HD and nutted on all these fucking reflections and everything, the trailers look so fucking janky, it's insane. The game is smooth and very fun, and the trailers look like not good compared to the game. I don't know if that's like, a, if other people agree, and I don't really give a fuck if they do. That's how my eyes see it. Like, after playing the game and then looking at the trailer, I, I, I obviously played the game weeks before, you know, the King trailer came out, the Jun trailer came out, all that shit. I've already played, you know, John. I've already played King. But when the trailers came out, I was like, wow. These trailers almost feel like they are from a previous game than the one I'm, I played. Like, I played Tekken 9, and these trailers are for Tekken 8, is what I felt. Like, dude, it's a big difference. The game looks good, it feels good, and it's smooth. Um... Yeah, there was access to move lists in the game, but I didn't look at them. Any obvious things slash mechanics that need polishing? Cut. Shh. Action. No, it was pretty cool. Like, I don't know how far along it is, or I don't know the details of its development. Uh, but I thought it was very playable at that point. For two players, you could play and have fun. The details of how good something is or how strong, how much damage something does or like how much frame advantage you have after something. People seem so like interested in these <laughs> concepts and I really suggest that you don't get too hung up on that because nowadays games are not done when they launch and that's a known thing. And fighting games are even more so not done when they launch. So it doesn't really matter at all. What matters to me is the feel of the game. When you backdash with your character, this is what I focused on the whole time. Other people were like, well, how do you get Jin's eye to glow? Or, woo, you know, like, look at the fucking... He turns into lightning, woo! Like, these little fucking anime fans are over there in the corner nutting over Jin right? But for me, like, I was just moving. I wanted to move, like, as fast as I could. I wanted to practice, not practice, I wanted to see if the game lets you move 
and backdash fast and how fast and is it different with different characters i wanted to like get knocked down and then get up how fast can i get up how, how can i side roll what does this do what does that do those are the things i was focusing on the move lists and shit like that's never been my style you know like <clears throat> i'm not the type of person who's good at looking at a move list and then like coming out with all these like combos or like taking a new mechanic and like that's not what i was even interested in doing because i feel like from my i'm not i don't know right but from my perspective it feels like these things are in highly in like flux like some of the people who were playing that day had played at a previous test like there, some of the people who played that day with me had played at a previous uh, play test. And that play test, apparently the build had changed dramatically between the two play tests. What that tells me is that this game is super quickly changing right now. It's at this phase in development where lots of things are changing quickly. So it's not like... I, I don't really give a fuck about caring about something that's going to change. You know, why study? Why study for a test when you know that this material is going to change before the test? It's just, to me, not relevant information. So I understand you want to know who's good or what's top or how's the balance and shit like that. But I don't give a fuck. So I ask the main man. You know what I mean? How are the new stages? They look really good. The load times were also not noticeably bad. And we were playing on a test version on the PS5. Uh, who did you enjoy playing the most? I mean, they were all fun. I liked Jack, though. Jack's pretty cool. They gave Jack a ton of new moves. They gave Jack a ton of Gigas moves. He has Gigas is running 1 plus 2. He has Marduk's, like, back 4. Or I don't know what it is for Marduk. I think it's, like, back 4 or something. It's a mid kick. Uh, they gave Jack a stance that has like a bunch of options out of it and he has defensive options too. So like you can do something, you could do like a move into a stance where he like flexes his muscles and then during that flexing muscle stance, you can guess what their retaliation is going to be. So it's like, He's a more dynamic character. He's got stance shit. And yeah, it's like Zangief a little bit. It reminded me of it a little. The flexing thing. Thoughts on Rage Arts being safe. See what I mean? Like this guy, Rage Arts being safe is not something you have to have thoughts about. Because this game, doesn't it like f cut? Fuck you. <sighs> Action. Doesn't it seem odd to you that all of them are the same on block? Like, what that tells me is they haven't really even gotten around to it yet, dude. The game's, like, so early in development. We're in pre-alpha, and you're asking me for my thoughts on how do you feel about all the rage arts being the same disadvantage on block? They might change that, dude. You, you ever think about that? Like, maybe they'll change that. These types of questions about damage and about frame data and whether or not something knocks down or things like that don't matter at all they're not worth asking that's why cut that's why a minute ago i said fuck you action uh good question any others how did you feel about tekken 8 being more aggressive i think that my what the feedback i gave them which is what i think the reason why i was there right was for feedback so the feedback I gave them is that it's cool that they've added all these like canned options for offense. They're built into the game to some degree. You can be more creative. So let me give you an example. Uh, an initiator of the heat system, you could do a move. Let's just make a move up. It's a mid punch, right? You could do this mid punch and if, if it hits, and you activate heat, you can force a mix-up on hit, right? And that's a like a built-in to the game mix-up. But it's not limited to that. You could do more than that. Like, for example, this mid-punch hits semi-grounded opponents. So you could use this mid-punch on wake-ups to hit a side-rolling opponent. Activate your heat. 
push their corpse with your heat into a wall and then use a heat move for wake-ups in the corner. Like, these ideas exist. And I don't know if they work necessarily, but potentially they do work. Potentially. Like, this is obviously a theory, right? But, you know, there are more ways to use it. What about in their back? Or what about, you know, there's a bunch of potential options there. The thing, though, is I like that. I don't mind the tools, even if they're canned and built in, tools for offense are fine. What I don't think is cool is that they nerfed backdash. So I think it's overkill. This was my feedback to them. I said, <coughs> it's overkill to nerf backdash if you're going to add so much offense. You don't need to nerf backdash if you're going to add so much offense. And moving around as I said before, in a match, happens a lot. Even without backdashing, you just move a lot. Lots of moves push you around, and there's a lot of moving, traveling, distance covered during a match. So my feedback was that I don't think they should nerf backdash. I think it's unnecessary in this environment because there's a lot of offense. So... Yeah, that was my biggest feedback. I think it's very, very fun, though. Did you like the wall explosions? They look cooler in person than they do in trailers. Everything looks cooler in person than it does in trailers. Everything. Even the things that look fucking stupid, like the Nina guns and the Jack everything, the, the whole character design, everything looks better in person than it does in those trailers, which is not common. And it may be smart. Like, you know how in gaming there's often this thing where... Trailers come out, and then the game comes out, and it was a bait. The trailers looked way better. They cut back. They, you know, give them a break, the pandemic and all, right? It always happens that way. With Tekken 8, it's the opposite. The trailers look like shit. The game looks way better than the trailers. I'm telling you right now, that's how I feel. When you're playing that game, it looks tight. It looks really good. Smooth, like lots of new moves, and like... Every time people were playing, every moment people were like, holy shit, they were yelling and different people, everyone was getting hype and people were yelling and like, like from all over the room, people were seeing new moves and wow, this does that and oh, this does this and what can you do here? Everyone was enjoying it. It was noise, unsolicited. It was just noise. It was cool. Uh, really fun Way more fun than it looks in trailers. Uh, how are the throws? Some throws are like heat engagers and shit. The heat system is really different for every character. And there are like lots of different ways they're like... I guess... I don't know how to put it. Don't look at it as a very homogenous system. Like, think about in Tekken 7, a lot of rage arts are totally different. Like, this guy's rage art, sorry, rage drive. The, a lot of the rage drives are really different, but the rage arts are really similar, right? So, it's more like rage drives, where everyone's heat is very different. Uh, how does it feel being grounded compared to T6 and T7? T it's It feels like when you're grounded... Getting off the ground feels about as easy as Tekken 7, except you won't get a knockdown. It's similar to Tekken 7, except you won't get a knockdown for getting up. For example, if you do like a 3 plus 4 spring kick, even King's spring kick did not corkscrew. So it And it doesn't knock down. It just hits. So, basically, you have less of an offensive advantage when you're on the ground. Now, did you try any of the auto combos? Oh, yeah, that system is weird. I forgot to mention that. There's a system where you push a button and it turns your move list into an easy mode move list. And it, it's weird. And I found it to be weird and possibly good possibly strategically good for example you can push this button and then have your two button be an electric 
But I don't think it's top speed. Like, when you push this button, let's call it R1, whatever the button is. When you push that button, a move list pops up on your screen visually. So both players know you have now entered easy mode. I'm in easy mode when I push that button. Everyone knows it on screen. It's a display. And when that happens, if I push two with Kazuya, he does an electric. It's just not a maximum speed perfect electric, but he does do a real electric. Now, <clears throat> is that the best way to do an electric? I don't think so. Could someone who's good use it? Probably. I think that easy mode is not easy mode. It's just some mode that you could use. Yeah, there is a way to do, at least with Kazuya, every character is different though. They're, like the, it could alter the game. I don't know. My, that, that part, that easy mode thing, whatever it's called, I forgot what it's called. But it is weird. It's really weird. Yeah. Excuse me. For example, I'll give you another example. So let's say uh, King has a move like forward two, right? Forward two one with King is like a mid elbow and then a high punch, right? So when you turn easy mode on with King, if you push just two, he does that automatically. You just push two. You push two and he does forward two one. Okay, that's interesting, but you can't do forward to one from crouch. It's not possible. You have to crouch cancel to do forward to one. But if you are crouching in easy mode and push two, he does forward to one from crouch. See what I'm trying to say? You see how that's weird and could be something could happen there. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how, how, to what degree you could use this strategically to win. But you can. There's no doubt in my mind. It's not a bug. It's not a bug, I don't think. It seems very deliberate. Even the way they introduced it to us, they said that it's not necessarily an easy mode because this is what they said. They said, because... Could they said literally? Could knee use this to win? Possibly, they said that. So it's not necessarily only for beginners. Like, it's possible that it's a. I don't know how they intend for this to be implemented in practice, but the thing that makes it very weird is that if you're watching a Tekken match and someone pushes this button a giant move list pops up on screen. Literally. For the side that did it. Is that going to stay? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, they were saying to me, like, um, how are you going to be able to use this? Like, <laughs> like they were saying, Thank like, you. when I was saying this seems good, they were saying... Well, how could you use it? What are you going to do? Tap the button and then mid combo? Yeah, you could do that. But while I was moving around, I felt like I could be back dashing, back dashing, back dashing. I push this button. I'm in this mode. They whiff something. I push two to punish it with an electric, then brush to the R1 button to remove easy mode and do a combo. You see what I'm saying? Like the way I used it was that way where... Like, okay, I want to use an electric now to whiff punish. Turn on easy mode. Back, 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 dash, back, dash. They whiff. Boom. Electric. Slide off easy mode and do a combo. It's The thing is, your instinct is one button electric that's cheap, but it's not like a true maximum speed electric. You can tell when you see it, it's not as fast as you could do it if you did it yourself. How did the pace of the matches feel? It feels good. Really Tekken, familiar Tekken style. Mm, you can toggle easy mode mid-match with one button. Yeah. And you know someone has toggled easy mode mid-match by that easy mode menu that pops up on screen. Any idea if Armor King is coming back? Cut. Hey, fuck you. Action. Uh, no. No. I mean, how the fuck would I know that? 
Is there an option to lower particle effects? There is an option, but I didn't change it. I did, I, and I didn't see it either. They just said there's an option. When they said there's an option for lowering particle effects, I said, what fucking difference does it make if there's an option when there's a default? I mean, what are you going to do? Do rock, paper, scissors to see what player decides how much particle effects there are during a tournament match? Who gives a fuck if there's an option? There's a default, and the default is too purple, you know? Uh, that's what I thought, but whatever, who gives a shit? The barbecue was better than the Tekken? I mean, that's a weird competition. How could Tekken ever beat barbecue? That doesn't, that's not fair. Tekken could never even come close to beating barbecue. That doesn't make sense. That's, uh, I think you should be banned for even putting those two together. Um, anyway, 